ladies and gentlemen, if you are having a good time and you are excited to be out on a Sunday evening, make some noise. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't believe you. And you know, singers, they have a fragile ego. Can you get just a little bit more? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Christian Wiggs. This is the Christian Wiggs Big Band. Far be it from a singer to name the band after them. It's a, it's a novel idea. We're about to get started with a bunch of uh, really, really hip charts written by none other than some of these arrangers of the band. Give it up for composer, arranger, Thomas Winglinski. Keep that going for Mr. This Ain't a Hobby, Mr. Mike Sailors, Dr. Mike Sailors. We got Tashiana Mayfield in the house. We got Aubrey Logan in the house. And we have Miss Kate Cordham all the way from Miami, Florida. She's got stories, let me tell you. Let's go ahead and get started.
Thank you very much. Oh man, I cannot tell you how good it is to be in this room with all of you after so long. And now we, uh, we get to share something together. We're all family, settle in, lower those shoulders. This is a really fun interactive show. So if you feel moved by anything that you hear, just scream, try to out scream the band. If you can, someone in the room owes you a beer. I don't make the rules, but that's just how it works. We're gonna keep it going now with, uh, there we go, okay. They took it to heart, man, they took it to heart. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna slow it down just a little bit with a beautiful arrangement from Dr. Mike Saylor's. Here's a tune called Vanity.
even glance Even when I'm offered new romance I can't because I'm yours alone To you forgive again I'll never live again So it will be as long as we're Think you'll come to me, but is it vanity to hide a broken Thank you very much. Dr. Mike Saylor's arranger, Thomas Wayne Linsky, pianist. All right, it's time to do that thing where we talk about the uh, magnificent people that are in this room and sharing the stage. I wanna make sure to go ahead and uh, introduce this sax section. One of the, uh, not one of the, the very first person who reached out to me whenever I got into town. I was going to Texas State, I was starting an opera studies degree, really wanted to be a jazz musician, but I just thought that there was no way, there was no possible way that I would be able to uh, do the kind of thing that we're doing right now today. And a uh, guy just messaged me out of the blue and said, hey man, I heard you just got to town. If you ever have anything that you need, please let me know and I will be happy to help you in any way that I can. And that is uh, one of my best friends in the world over here on the alto saxophone, Dr. Matthew Maldonado. <laughs> We got some sentiments in here. It's fun, you know? Sitting right next to him, tearing it up, man. And, you know, Thomas always said to me, he was like, man, you got to get this cat in the band. He just started over at UT. He's killing it. Now, several years later, we're playing all the time. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Paolo Santos. <laughs> Talking about a real bad dude over here on the tenor saxophone and a guy who can uh, uh, make me laugh harder than uh, a lot of other people in recent memory. Give it up for Mr. Joey Calaruso. <laughs> Someone else who we also talked about saying that he's been a mentor to like almost everybody in this town and we all owe a, an incredible debt to him. Dr. John Mills on the tenor saxophone. <laughs> Here's the thing, I didn't want to be wrong, but Thomas has confirmed, he taught the entire sax section. So if you uh, really like the sax section, that's his doing. <laughs> holding it down on the baritone saxophone, and I do mean holding it down, a new friend that I'm so happy is in the band, Mr. Eric Hargett. <laughs> I'll get around to all of these beautiful people and little stories and anecdotes that I have about them. But first, I want to uh, welcome up now someone who has been a very good friend and uh, just makes me always want to hit the shed. She is an unbelievable singer for any age, but 20, 20, 20 years old. Please give the biggest welcome to Native Hughes tonight, but over at Frost School of Music in Miami, Miss Kate Corda. <laughs> tune called Deed I Do. So, hope you enjoy that. <laughs>
turn up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. Oh man, I'm having such a good time. I've been so looking forward to this because, man, Austin has such a wealth of incredible musicians. And, you know, it's not often that you can, you know, fit 24 of us in the same room. And so, you know, to, to, to have all of my friends, because uh, truly, first and foremost, friends and just incredible musicians. What a great time. I'm gonna stop babbling on. Here's a tune that I have loved for years and I have wanted to do it for so long. Here is a tune I heard from Mel Torme called, You'd Better Love Me. me while you may. Tomorrow I may fly away. I want your gentle touch, your continental touch, that elemental touch, and you want me to, oh, I know what you do. You'd better love me while I'm here. Well, I have been known to disappear so. Takes fast above me. If you think by me, okay. you better love me while you may. Oh, 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 oh,
to Houston that the swear jar is uh, because it's, it's uh, Houstonian, right, Ted? Is it Houstonian? I think it's Houstonian instead of Houstonite. I said Houstonite. <laughs> anyway, Ted's just like, sure, wh whatever, whatever floats your boat, man. Uh, but uh, also, man, it is so good to have Thomas back in town. Thomas is currently doing his master's over with Kate. Kate's doing her undergrad. Uh, I, I think, are you Kate's TA in a class? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. It's like, I don't know, like extra, extra credit or something. I don't know. We can figure out like a way to like, you know, get another grade in there. She doesn't need it. Right, right. Amazing. Well, we're going to get uh, on going with another uh, composition from Kate. Uh, or Sorry, not Kate. You're, she's Kate. You're Thomas. I'm getting it all straight. Uh, one of the best things about this band is that uh, we get to highlight writers, we get to highlight lyricists, and we get to highlight composers. And on this tune, uh, Thomas... It's all three, so here's one of his called Carry Through.
if you could take my hand and walk across this bountiful land. So many days I plan we could spend as two. And I'll remain beside until this vision springs from my mind. And pulls me into 
Marco Antonio Santos on the guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Thomas Wayne Linsky on the composing, arranging, and lyrics of this tune. All right, I got more friends to introduce. We did build the show as Christian Wiggs, big band plus friends, and uh, so I want to go ahead and introduce over here, holding down on the lead trombone, trombone one, somebody who has been uh, a great friend and a new mentor to me, Mr. Ron Wilkins. Someone's name who is known far, far and wide, a veteran member of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra under the direction of Wynton Marsalis, Mr. Andre Hayward. Someone I go way back with, he's on my second record from 2017, and uh, he went up to uh, the northernmost part of uh, the United States for a little bit, over to Michigan State. That's right. If you get that wrong, it gets real violent real fast. It's blue versus green. You gotta make sure to get it right. Mr. Alton Sinclair. And another new friend that I'm so grateful is in the band. You've seen her in the uh, pit or you've heard her in the pit on Broadway. You've seen her on stage at all of the major clubs in New York City. Miss Becca Patterson. Well, to tell you guys a little bit about a new thing that uh, we've started with uh, just as an extension of uh, not only uh, the Christian Wiggs Big Band, but I have a show that is called Off the Band Sand that I started uh, kind of uh, in the first few months of the pandemic because I, I think that conversations are really meaningful and uh, I like to talk about those kind of uh, deep things, you know, that maybe like kind of break the, the um, you know, energy of a, a regular conversation out just having a beer. And I just wanted to talk about jazz musicians and their personalities and how that then contributes to the music that they create. Because sometimes, you know, if we don't have a frame of reference, if we don't have a picture in our mind or a narrative, it can be hard to guess what, you know, musicians were thinking about. So I was like, well, let's just, we've got all the time in the world, let's jump on Zoom and we'll make a thing happen. And now, uh, we just filmed yesterday episode, I think, 64 or 65, now here in Monks, and uh, it is thank you very much. And so uh, my new partner, Kirk Word, who is in the house this evening, who is directly responsible for making this evening happen, can we have a hand for Kirk Word? We decided to uh, take that, that, that title, Bandstand, and create what is uh, called Bandstand Presents that uh, deals with records and deals with off the bandstand and deals with this band and bringing in guests. And it is an absolute dream come true. It's one of those things where you jump out of bed in the morning, and I'm not a morning person, so you know that it's exciting. Uh, so one of the people that we brought in, she played here last night, tore the house down. She does this thing where she writes a tune on the spot and then involves everybody. It is just absolutely unbelievable. She's amazing. Please give a warm welcome to our special guest, Tashiana Mayfield. Christian Wiggs, is he not amazing? And like the best. He is the best host, interviewer. He's just been so awesome. And I just want to shout out uh, everybody that's brought me down. Christian, Kirk, you guys, thank you off the bandstand for having me. This has been one of the best trips I've had out of town ever. You guys have been just amazing. Thank you so much for having me. So anyway, jumping into this tune. So this is really cool. So this is an original of mine called I Want More, The Date Story. I wanted to write a song on my third record, just kind of like a storyline of like, what's it like for a girl, like when she meets somebody new and she's preparing for a first date and like, you know, getting to know somebody new. And so Christian listened to it and was like, oh my God, I really love this tune. Would you mind if we arranged it for big band? And I was like, uh, yeah, why would I mind that? That's awesome. So anyway, this is I Want More, done by 
Please forgive me. I'm going to say your last Thomas name wrong. Win Win I can't say your last name. Winglinski. Thomas, you guys. It's amazing. <laughs>
enjoyed myself Now the night is over Everything was such a blast He walked me to my door And then we talked some more I wish this night would last He pulled me so close And starts to kiss me And my body's melting fast No oh, one can't invite him in Because I excited to have you in town for so long. I mean, so excited to be uh, here. another uh, guy, I think he's in the house. I think he might have left it because he's got another gig tonight because he's, you know, one of the most working people in Austin. But Ryan Hagler kept saying, man, he kept saying, like, you've got to check out Tashiana. And ladies and gentlemen, this record that she's talking about, it is transcendent. It is next level. It is the thing that you, like, I, if you left right now to go to your car and start listening to it, I wouldn't even be mad because you would be well within your rights to do that. It is called The Next Chapter. You gotta go and support it on, you know, anything but Spotify. Buy that record. Buy that record. Yeah. Buy that record, man. Thank you. That's right. Well, Thomas always has really great suggestions for me. Uh, you know, anytime he's like, what tune do you want to do? I'm like, I'll give a couple suggestions, but I, I want to hear what you have to say first. And he was like, let's do something off of the Thriller album, the Michael Jackson Thriller album. And I was like, okay, cool. What do you got for me? And uh, he, he said the second track, uh, so here is Baby Be Mine. One, two, one. Ooh, that feels good. Need no dreams when I'm by your side. Every moment brings me to paradise, darling. Let me hold you. Let you join my arms and melt the night away. All the magic that a perfect love can make. I need you night and day, so baby be mine. And girl, I'll give you all I've got to give. So baby be mine. And we can share this ecstasy as long as we believe.
the darkest day. Never too early for Christmas tunes and controversial opinion. Uh, man, oh man, this is so fun. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. I guess it's uh, a, you know a good thing to announce. We do have a Christmas show coming up. It's next uh, month, December nineteenth. Uh, I think tomorrow morning we'll announce the show. So uh, tickets for we'll go up for that. So if you don't get your fill before the nineteenth of uh, I, you know, I went into like. Lowe's the other day and like I saw all of the Christmas decorations they were playing it I don't even think it was November 1st and I was like you know what? I'm 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 on board with Christmas music but I'm pretty sure this is gonna like start like a riot in the streets if you guys keep playing Christmas music like all the time oh. but Thomas is we're gonna write some really tasty stuff for you so anyways we're gonna uh, go on to another composition of Thomas's uh, man we're featuring a lot of your tunes because they are just so good uh, beautiful melodies very uh, uh, lasting melodies. They, they, they stick in your head. It's an earworm. Here's one that uh, we've been working on for quite some time. Uh, back, uh, One of the first things that Thomas and I got to collaborate a lot on was uh, a residency that we had pre-pandemic over at Roos Chris Steakhouse every Friday from 6 to 9. It was me and James and Thomas spending every Friday together. And uh, man, that gig was so special because it allowed us to really uh, bond a whole lot and uh, get into hijinks and uh, you know test a bunch of stuff out. But uh, I think this was the first original tune that Thomas brought to me and he said, hey man, how do you feel about doing this? And I was like, absolutely, like I've been waiting for the day. So here is Fool of October.
Christmas be your first October leaves turn brown they all come falling down you say
couldn't let them be. You long for time to regain rhyme and feel a sense of ease. But all these memories won't let your cold heart be. Mike Sailors on the trumpet. Man, what is is really special more more so than just collaborating with really great musicians? Um, it's the reason why we called this show the Christian Woods Big Band Plus Friends. Um, but uh, without without allowing myself to get emotional now, we'll do that after the the cameras are off. No, you know we 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 love. We love breaking down toxic masculinity. We love emotions. But uh, man, it's, it's, it's been great. Um, you know, Thomas has been uh, such a close collaborator. I've been uh, very uh, fortunate to collaborate with David Mescatique, who is also in the house uh, this evening. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's have a hand for David Mescatique. Um, but mentors, friends, collaborators, um, someone who really understands you, that, that um, you know, similar. We, in romantic relationships, we feel that where somebody like just totally understands who you are as a person and, and all of your interests and all the things that, that kind of make you tick and all these different things. And, and it's hard to find somebody uh, who does that same thing on a, on a business level, but, but music isn't business. Uh, this, is, this is the most sincere form of the inner being, which is the stuff that we talk about on Off the Bandstand. I'm getting on that kind of deep train. But um, yeah, over the past several months, just being able to collaborate every single month on charts that I definitely wanted to do for so long and just didn't know how to do them, and uh, especially tunes that uh, were brought to my attention that then I was able to be fortunate enough to help bring to life, and um, none of that would have been possible without the arrangers in this band, and I want to point them out. Dr. Mike Sailors. <laughs> Another person who I've worked so extensively uh, traveling many miles to San Antonio and coming back at way too late. Doctor? No. Not yet, not yet, <laughs> but almost, almost, almost. We'll say, we'll give the anticipation. Master, Master Marco Antonio Santos. <laughs> and then finally, someone who has uh, dealt with all of my neurotic behavior um, over the past several years, Thomas Wawinski.
We're nearing the end of the night. We got two tunes left for you, and we have a very special guest. Uh, before I introduce that special guest, let's recognize this magnificent trumpet section. Over here, spark plug, Sparky Thomason on the trumpet. <laughs> Again, keep it going for Dr. Mike Sailors, Mr. Jonas Springs, someone who puts a smile on my face just by being in the room, Steve Butts. This next guest, you guys, you guys don't even know, and you're not even ready. So much energy, the best, so great. You know her from Postmodern Jukebox. You know her from like all the different stuff that she's doing all the time, singing like uh, opera arias that we talk about on her episode of Off the Bandstand. You can go check that out. It's episode 53. It was like seven episodes ago. All of the different things, breaking down barriers in music. Please give a warm welcome to Aubrey Logan. <laughs> This one, Colin? Everybody give a big round of applause to Christian Wiggs. And for Tatiana and for Kate, my goodness. All right, let's play a song. And get your hat, leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can you hear a pitter pat? And that happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny, sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with those blues on parade. But I am not afraid. Crossed over a river, I never had a cent. I'd be rich as Rockefeller. Gold dust at my feet on a sunny the street. 
three. Thank you so much. Thank you, Colin Shook and Monks Jazz Club and Christian Wiggs. Come on back. Ladies and gentlemen, Aubrey Logan. Again, anything but Spotify. She's got a new record out called Standards. Go and support that. It is uh, standard, standard. And, oh, and a new Christmas. Did it come out today? It came out two days ago. It's really early. Two days ago. It's really early, but you're going to love it, right? We're going to love it. We're going to love it. We're going to love it. We'll let them decide later. All right. Here we go. We got one more, if that's okay. We got one more tune for you. But before I bring up these guests that we've had all night and we're going to do something all together, I want to recognize this rhythm section. I told him yesterday, I was like, I never have to worry about you. You are always just like the, the, the fattest drummer, giving, supporting me every step of the way. I mean, just like making this band run the engine. Dr. Fabio Agostinis. <laughs> He doesn't like when I get sentimental, so I won't get too sentimental about it, but one of the people I love most in this world, Dr. James Souter. Again, keep it going for, again, my, my very, very good friend, almost doctor, almost doctor. I don't wanna say master, let's say almost doctor, Marco Antonio Santos. And again, you know him, you love him, Thomas Wayne Linsky. All right, let's bring them up together. I love vocalies. I love Lambert Hendricks and Ross. I love all of the things. I love Horace Silver. I love these people. I love you guys. It's time to make this a real party. So let's bring up Tashiana Mayfield and Kate Cordham. Here's a tune that tells a very funny narrative about going out on a date. You're getting ready for the date. You're like going and talking to people and then, uh, you know, like using the phone booth, making a few calls and then you get over to the date, but like you can't stop doodling, you know? Like what, if, what was that restaurant where they would put like paper on the table and you could, they gave you crayons, you know? I don't know, it was one of those. And all of them? The Italian ones. All, the Italian ones and IHOP, I believe too. I think IHOP was, you know, if you're a Denny's person, you gotta get over to IHOP. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then, and then the waiter starts to get like real upset that you're like doodling on the tablecloth. I'm sure it was like very nice linen, you know? And then he starts saying like, do you doodle all day? The asked the waiter in his way, do you doodle all night? Told the waiter he was right. Eventually you get thrown into, a, it sounds like a vocalese, exactly. Eventually you get thrown in an, in, in an, an insane asylum, it's late. An insane asylum, but then the doctor's like, nah man, you're cool cool, you're doodling like some hip stuff. I like it, I like it. And then there's a twist. So uh, stay tuned for that twist. Here's doodling. <laughs> So she can lick slick. I enjoy procrastinating because I'm busy while away. Doing away. Sitting and dining, dinner beginning. Started designing, using the linen. Talking to my day, doodling my bit. Waiting and salty, told me to please quit. Told the waiter, got me dizzy. Can't you see I'm very
Thank <laughs> you. 
Drive safe.